So hello and welcome back to my channel if you do not know. My name is Ollie if you do know. Hi, how are you doing? Nice to see you again. But today's video, I thought I haven't done this for a while and I get asked for these videos a lot. So call me Oprah. I should have a column in one of those magazines. What? Do I even exist anymore? I don't know. I asked you over on my Instagram to send me some of your dilemmas, issues, queries, whatever it is that you may need advice for. I said send it my way and I will answer it as best I can. I don't know why I do these videos or why you guys ask for them because I am no advisor. Like, I am not qualified to do this at all. But with all that said, let's jump straight into the video. Let's pull up the trusty Instagram. The first one is how do I talk to someone if he won't reply? And my advice on that one is if you're messaging someone and they're not replying, stop messaging them. You are messaging someone and they're not replying, they don't want to talk to you. And if they did want to talk to you, they would respond. Like 100%. If someone wants to talk to you, meet you, be with you, whatever, they will do. If someone wants to call you, they will call you. Take actions as a response. Take action loud and clear. Actions speak louder than words. Like just trust me, if they're not replying, to, they don't want to talk to you. Don't want to be brutal, but from bestie to bestie, because that's what we are here with besties, they probably don't want to talk to you and you don't want to waste your time talk, trying to talk to someone who doesn't want you. So you deserve more and you will find someone who wants to talk to you. Start messaging them and they might crawl back and if they do, still don't talk to them because it shouldn't have to take you to ignore them for them to come to you. So just put, hi, how can I be myself when I'm scared to be open? Thank. This one is a lot easier said than done, but once you start doing it, you will run with it. So this one is you genuinely just have to start like you just have to start being yourself, no matter who it is, no matter what it is. I don't even know if you mean sexuality, gender, dress sense. I don't know what you mean particularly, but start being who you are and everyone who matters and cares about you will be here and whoever judges you or doesn't like who you actually are, they're not meant to be in your life anyway and they don't deserve to be in your life. Start being who you are. It's scary at first, but once you start, you will run into it and you will love it because you'll become your natural true self and you'll only be happiest when you're being who you are. The sooner you do it, the sooner you realise it's not that scary being who you are and people also don't care as much as you think people will care. The next one is, any advice on skin products or regime, resume, reg, resume, reg, resume, reg, regime, 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 I am sorry, um, any advice on skin products or regime? It's gone again. What is, a, what is that word? Regime. Regime. Any advice on skin products or regime? I hate my condition of skin and need change. First of all, stop saying the word hate. Stop talking about yourself and saying the word hate. Delete it. Remove that word. Only talk about yourself if it's love or like. Do not talk about yourself. Do not look in the mirror and say hate or dislike. Unless it's like, ooh, I dislike my outfit, I'll get changed. But if it's who you are, your body, your skin, don't hate or dislike anything. It's how you are. If you want to change it slightly, so if it's weight thing, then you want to lose weight, or if it's a muscle thing, you want to add a muscle or lose muscle or whatever it is, do that but in a healthy way not because you hate it but just because you want to enhance or improve it if that's how you see it as but first of all my first advice is stop saying the word hate when it's about yourself because the way you talk to yourself and about yourself reflects on who you are so only speak about loving yourself and you will genuinely love yourself any advice on skin products so i skin skin products is something which i don't ever love giving advice on because you can have oily skin dry skin combination skin what other skin types there are I don't know. So for me personally, I have dry skin. Well, I have combination skin, more dry though, but my skin gets quite dry. My skin doesn't have the oil in it to make spots. So mine gets dry and then can like, not flake off, but like, just gets a bit like dry in patches. So when my skin got quite dry, I have a friend called Tasha who works at a body shop. Body shop have really good skincare, which I mean, I'm sure there's better brands, worse brands, I don't really know, but I know the skincare that I use, the seaweed range at the body shop because that was for combination skin and it really helped balance my oils again so it was like it wasn't dry but it wasn't spotty it was just like the perfect medium for me maybe do some research to what your skin type is whether it's oily combination dry whatever else and then i personally recommend the body shop but everyone's skin is different and everyone's skin skin is their own journey and stuff so i don't want to recommend a brand or a product because it might not go well with your skin it might be my fault but personally for me i found the body shop skincare really good another advice for skin is just drink a lot of water i drink about a gallon a day so it flushes out toxins and something else keeps your skin hydrated and eating healthy as well eating healthy and drinking water really really impacts your skin this next one is liking someone but that lives miles away i assume you mean they my advice to that one is 
if it's worth, if you think it's going to be worth it, if you think something could change like where you live or if you get a job opportunity and you might be moving closer, my advice is stick with it and you never know what could happen. If you don't think it's worth it, stop talking to them. Um, I'm sure you might not like that, but stop talking to them and stop now before the feelings get too deep. But if you think it's worth it and you think there's a chance where you could geographically live closer, wait it out is my advice. Oh, this one I love. I want to go to the cinema on my own, but I'm scared of being judged. You might not all know, but some of you might know but I go to the cinema regularly by myself. At the cinema I, itself, no one judges you. No one even looks at you. No one even cares. No one really knows you're on your own. They just think you've turned up on your own. You might be meeting someone. People at the cinema don't care at all. I found it's only when you mention to someone you were at the cinema on your own that that's when they're like, oh my gosh, like they like react to that. So for you, your advice is if you want to go to the cinema or whatever by yourself, just do it because once you're there, you'll realize no one cares. No one's looking at you. No one is noticing that you're on your own. Like for all they know, your friend's in the toilet. Your friend's not around yet whatever like just trust me go on your own and you'll realize no one cares and even when you're sat in the seat at the cinema your friend could be at the toilet like no one thinks about it I, i've never walked in the cinema and looked at everyone and be like oh i wonder who they're with i wonder if they're on their own like if you don't look at someone and think oh they're on their own no one's gonna look at you and think that so just don't overthink it like it's such an easy thing to overthink doing something on your own the reality is it's so easy and it's not scary at all just trust me for me i love the cinema a lot like it's like one of my favorite places to escape to and just switch on off. Like genuinely, it's probably the only place I switch off properly. But I genuinely think it's because I'm not on my phone. Like I'm not near my phone. I'm not talking. I'm not thinking. I'm just escaping into a film. So yeah, for me, the cinema on my own. I prefer going to cinema now on my own than with anyone. I promise you, you'll realise how unscary it actually is. This next one, I am qualified. I'll be honest. How do you get over someone? The answer is by not getting under someone, like people say. Personally, I think not. Don't get under someone. You have to accept it's over. Don't talk to them. Don't contact them. Don't go back and forth don't message them don't look up at social media like kind of pretend they don't exist like, a thing that i've done is write an actual letter with all your feelings all your emotions all your thoughts everything you love everything you dislike write everything out and burn it that one helped a lot working on yourself actually acknowledging how you're feeling constantly like writing a diary maybe right talking out to the family or your friends of how you actually feel just being honest and open with yourself where you're at how you're feeling it's just kind of loving yourself and treating yourself right and i've done that and i move on very quickly Quickly. I also try and take out like the human side of it as well. So it's like, okay, so we were together, now we're not. It's not that deep. Like we were, we're not. Life moves on. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think you have to know that that life's gonna move on. You're gonna meet someone new. They're gonna meet someone new. That's fine. It's life. Like it's normal, and it doesn't have to be that deep or emotional. That's how I found it, and that's what's always helped me. And I'm just like that was a chapter of your life, and now you're moving on to the next chapter, which is gonna be more exciting, more new, more new characters are coming into the storyline. Do you know what I mean? Also, I trust the process, and I trust the universe, and I trust that what's meant to be in my life will be in my life and what's not and what gets removed is meant to so let what's meant to be be like don't try and stop the course of nature or whatever it is like that sounds really cringy but just trust it and go for flow and don't even look back like don't go back to an ex i mean this isn't in all circumstances ever obviously in all the cases that i've been of friends myself everything don't go back to an ex an ex is an ex for a reason and it didn't work because of a reason and fundamentally that reason if you get back probably still be there and i think once you realize that or and if you can relate that to yourself, it's like, well, I'm never going to go back there because I know it'll come back to this. So you're just like, well, bye. That's my advice on moving on. Okay, so my final one, which I'm going to answer, I have a feeling that I'll never succeed and never get the job I want. I don't know why, lol. Laughing base, I love you, love heart. First of all, I love you too. Second of all, see, I don't know if everyone's into manifestation or the law of attraction, law of assumption, all of that, but you have to talk to yourself plant the seed into the universe that you will succeed and you will get the job that you want because why not? Like look at say like Harry Styles, his dream was to be a singer and he's a singer. He got his like dream job. So why are you any different to that? Like whatever your dream job is, you can get there, you can attain it, you can achieve it, you can work for it. Like no matter what it is you want, you can go for it. You just have to believe it and you, the camera actually flashing so I'm going to really wrap it up. What it is that you want, you can get it, you just have to work for it, you have to put in the time and it's just believing you can and knowing you can and then you kind of will. Like it's like a fake it till you make it kind of thing. Obviously with jobs it's hard because you need to be hired or whatever else but trust me, if you want something bad enough, you can get it and it's just about putting in the time and the effort and the work and you will get there, trust me. But apart from that, that is all that I'm going to answer today. I hope it really helped you. If I answered any of yours or it helps you or you want another part, smash a like button and subscribe to the channel down below so you don't miss another video from me and I will see you very soon with another video. Thank you.